Hey, how's it going? <clears throat> Scott Price here. Uh, I'm making this. I'm making this video for specifically for my Facebook page. Armenianism is a false gospel, and um, <clears throat> I wish I had more time to uh, interact on that page. I can't because of my schedule. But I've never done a li uh, Facebook Live here, and I've gotten kind of like on a frenzy today. I've been doing some live streaming on different pages and my our own church page and all that, uh, even some private groups. But anyway, um, I'm driving here to save time. I got some. I got a bunch of stuff to do. Here's what I'm wanting to say, specifically just here this one time, and, and I might do this from time to time. So I say, say some stuff. There are plenty of people that like this page. Um, from a variety of different groups, um, variety of different denominations, and it's a it's a famous statement, you know that uh, that I'm getting ready to pull out here, so I just want to make sure I'm safe. Famous statement that Arminianism is a false gospel, and then people turn right around it and undo that with tolerating that same false gospel by implying implying that uh, that gospel that false gospel of Armenianism is used by God to convert the soul to as if it's the truth it's not the truth there's nothing about it that's the truth zero there is no lie of the truth so um, and I posted on here one time that I have a habit of, of using that catchphrase, uh, Armenianism. And, and what I mean by that, and I apologize for people that are really strict on the term. Um, so I want to make an adjustment here. I want to include more things so you can know what I'm saying. I'm talking about any so-called gospel that has to do with conditions laid on the sinner that the sinner must fulfill. And usually when you have a conditional gospel, it means you have a failed atonement. And of course, uh, this, this what I call Arminianism has a universal atonement. So maybe I ought to stop using the phrase Arminianism and just talk about universal atonement being a false gospel because that, that takes in everything. I'm going to be stuck with this historical thing where somebody says, well, you're not really talking about technically Arminianism. All right, so I'm, I'm explaining what I mean then. Conditional salvation. Some of you might be saying, um, you know, yeah, I believe in a particular effectual um, atonement, and uh, but I still believe in conditions for salvation. I don't get it. I don't get it. Faith is not a condition. Faith is a gift of God that he works in you by the same power that is up to raise Christ from the dead. That's not a condition. That's that by the time faith comes, dude, it's too late. God has operated on you and regenerated you before that. So faith's not a condition. It's something God works in you if you have it. Salvation is not conditioned on the sinner in any way. The elect are partakers, and they are, they are affected by God. It happens to them, salvations of the Lord. So uh, I just want to get out here and make that distinction about the phrase, Armenianism is a false gospel. And here's what I'm getting at. Why do people turn right around and say, but Armenians, the people that espouse the doctrine, they are Christians. And for some reason, they've divorced the doctrine from the people that hold doctrine. And do they hold the doctrine or not? Um, do you see what I'm getting at here? So my point, my plea to you, to keep saying Armenianism is a false gospel. And you want to say, but those that believe Armenianism are still brothers and sisters. Why are you doing that? Why are you even say, uh, I'm asking you not to say Armenianism is a false gospel if you're going to say that. Because it doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm just trying to be logical and have some clarity here and uh, communicate clearly about, you know, up is down and down is up and bitter is sweet and bitter. You know, don't confuse the things. Don't be double-minded, in other words. I think I just said all that wrong, but you know what I'm saying. 
Bitter is not sweet. Sweet's not bitter. Up is not down. Down is not up. We are not in the theological Alice in Wonderland world. Anyway, um, I have jumbled around trying to say this stuff. I don't have a script or anything, but it's just something I keep seeing it. I keep seeing it. Same people say Calvinism is the gospel. And uh, I use the phrase sovereign grace. You know, I try to stay away from this historic Calvinism. I'm going to say, what kind of Calvinism are you talking about? Classic Calvinism? Modern Calvinism? It's sovereign grace. The doctrines of grace. Um, effectual, particular, sufficient, finished, accomplished redemption. He didn't take a stab at it. He got it done. That kind of a gospel. If you say that kind of gospel is the gospel, then how can you turn around and say other gospels will qualify and God considers them legitimate forms of gospel that he used to convert the soul? Ah, no, no, no. Not making sense. Stop and think. Stop and think. Maybe some of you haven't. No, I hope this is helpful. And I, I'm, not being, I'm not trying to be hateful here. I'm trying to say, hey, you ever considered this? Think about this. All right, I've rattled off long enough. I might 